Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on page 645 in our math book. That's lesson 11.3. So if you're not on that page, hit pause, find page 645, and hit play when you're ready. Great. So today, we're again, we're working with three-dimensional shapes. It says, how can you use combined shapes to build new shapes? Right, so we're looking at shapes, right? Remember, just like we kind of looked at before where we took shapes, right? And we noticed that we can combine them together to make something new. Sometimes it's just an odd shape like this, but sometimes it actually makes a shape that we are used to seeing. Like that's a little, we see a square on this side. We see a rectangle on this side. So we're gonna be looking at different ways to combine shapes again today. Leah put a box on top of another box. Draw to copy the new shape Leah made. So look what she did when she put these together. Do you see what shape that is? Yeah, it kind of looks like an L, doesn't it? Right? So it looks like, kind of looks like this. And if we wanted to, we could make it 3D, right? After we make an, make an L. We'll go up and over and down. If you're having trouble drawing it, it is okay. So that is the new shape that she made. It made it look like an L. Now sometimes shapes are going to look like something and sometimes they're not, which is okay. And when you're ready, we're gonna to turn to the next page. All right, so circle a new, Circle a new shape you can make. Explain why you cannot make the other shape. So let's go over some of the words that we have here. Step one, right? Step one means this is where we start with. Build, build means to put it together. So this is what they build, right? They put the, the cylinder and the cube on top of each other. Step two says repeat. Repeat means to do it again. So they did it once, now they do it again. That means you have two of these, okay? Repeat means to do again. So in other words, they did this. They went, whoop, they build it. And then to repeat means they need to do it, do it again. So they went, whoop, and they did it two times. Okay, repeat means to do again. Then the last step is step three. It says combine. Combine means take what you built and put it together. Now, when you take what you built and put it together, it doesn't have to stay like this, right? When we're building, we can turn it, can't we? Right, turn it upright. We can put it like this, okay? So, but when we build something, it has to stay together, okay? When I build this and it says repeat and then combine, put it together, this has to stay together. The flat part has to be on the flat part. They need to be together. I can't take them apart, okay? That's taking them apart. When I told me to build, it means they have to stay together. All right, so now that we know that, let's take a look at our two shapes. Which one shows what could have been made if we built, took this and put them together and them together? What could be built? This one, only this one, because this one, what did they do? Are they on top of each other still? No, they took them apart, didn't they? Okay, so when we put it together, right? They have to stay together. Now we can flip it just like I showed you. Remember I showed you how it was like this to start with, but then we can go whoop and flip it this way, right? We could even probably put it like this, couldn't we? But they have to stay together. Once you build it, it's like we're going to pretend like we attached it with glue and they stay together. All right, so let's look at this one down here says build, so somebody built this, right? A cone on top of a rectangular prism. Repeat means I need to do that again, okay? 
So then which one would it make if I made this? Remember, think I attached it together with glue. Which one would it, which one would I have made? Yes, this one. This one doesn't work because look, remember if I repeat, it ha I have to attach it again with glue. This is two of them on top of it. You couldn't do that it, with, if you had, let me see if I can show you in my video. If I had this, right? Here's that on top of it. And then remember, repeat means I do the same thing again. So there it is, right? If I, if I attach these with glue, I wouldn't be able to pop that one off put this one down here and go like this, right? No, that doesn't work. This has to stay on top, but I can flip it. I can flip it and make it go this way. So that matches our picture, right? right? I flip it, flipped it. Once you put it with glue, right? Once you touch it with glue, I can turn it, right? I can turn it one way to the other but it has to stay, it has to stay on top, okay? So let's take a look. That's why this one worked because I just flipped it around. Look at this one. Okay, here I built this, my, my cone on top of a cube. And then I repeat, which means I'm going to do it again. Which one did I make? You decide. Which one? Yes, this one. They stayed together. This one doesn't even use the right shape, does it? It put a cylinder in there. No cylinders, right? There is no cylinders there. Now let's look at this one. Here's a rectangular prism and a cube. Okay, I built that. I stuck it together with glue. Remember, I can turn it, but if I repeat it, do the same thing. Which one would I make? You decide. Did you pick this one? I hope you did, because that one is correct. Remember, these two, right? They're attached, okay? And I can turn them upright, but they have to be right end to end. Look at this. They're not on the end, are they? right? They put that on top. Doesn't work. So you have to think, what, how can I move it around? All right. I want you to try, I want you to try these three. Okay. Pause, hit play when you're ready. Now this time I want you to notice that they, they built, took and made, did it three times. Instead of just repeating, they repeated again. So there's three of these. Think what if they did three of these? What if they did three, uh, oh, only two of these. Okay, hit play when you're ready to check. All right, which one did it make? Yes, hopefully you circled this one because this is on top of each other. This only even has one cone, right? Look, it's, all the other ones are missing their cones. There should be three cones. How about this one? Well, this one, they just took them apart, didn't they? See, look, here's where they're stuck on the corners together. And the last one, this one's a little tricky. It might've looked like this one, didn't it? Cause here's this shape, right? You see that shape? But look, if I repeat this and do it again, how many cubes am I supposed to have? Two, if I did this, Right, here it is. And I did it again. That means I would have I would have to have two cubes and two rectangular prisms. Now look, this is what they did. This picture, the first the first one only shows it like this, right? It's like, oh wait a minute, what about this guy? The other one, they just moved it around. So look, there it is there. So here it went up like this and then they took this one, right? right? That was like this and they just turned it sideways, right? Just 
like how they took this one, turned it sideways, and fit them together. That was a tricky one. <laughs> so it would have been this one. But the key is, look, two cubes, two rectangular prisms. All right. Look at the shape. How many, how many cubes are used to make the shape? So, oh, I'm sorry, but it's not just cubes. It's how many stacks like this are used to make the shape. Okay, so we can watch this one too if you need to. So let's take a look. Hmm, do you see a group of two together? Yeah, that's one. Do you see another one? Two. Three. So how many of these were used? three of them because they didn't want to know how many cubes by themselves they wanted to know those stacks of cubes this one asks how many look, single cubes are used to make the shape so how many of these by themselves now they're asking how many cubes were made so let's count them one two three four five six so there was six cubes by themselves but when you add stacks of cubes, there's one, two, three stacks of cubes. Right, I'm gonna turn the page. If you need to pause, you can. All right, we're gonna work on this mid-chapter checkpoint. So circle the rectangular prisms. Draw a line under the shape, shapes that have both flat and curved surfaces. All right, so there's two parts. So the first part is circle the rectangular prisms. Which one of these are rectangular prisms? Look through. This one, right? That's a rectangular prism. Draw a line under the shapes that have both flat and curved surfaces. So does this one have any flat? No, this one has flat, but is there anything curved? Right. Flat and oh, curved, that one works. So we'll put a line under it. How about this one? The bottom, like a cone, flat and curved. So cone, right? All right. Now, my first graders, this is a true rectangular prism. Sometimes they call a cube a rectangular prism, which gets confusing because that's really a cube and that's really a rectangular prism. Um, so I want you to be aware of that, that sometimes they do call it, call it a rectangular prism. Use three dimensional shapes. All right, look at this one. Combine, right? Put together this and this. What one does it make? You decide. Hopefully you pick this one, right? That's a cube and a cone, a cube and a cone. Which new shape can you make? Look, combine a, oh, this is a cylinder, but it's a funny looking cylinder, isn't it? Big circle, circle top. Cylinder and a cube. So you combine them together. What, which new shape can you make? So if you put this and this together, what does it make? The only one is the right answer. Hopefully you pick this one. This is only one of them, right? And they asked us to take two and put them together. That's only one of them. So they don't work because they're all only one. We needed to take two together. This one, they just stacked them right on top of each other, didn't they? That one works. This does not work because look, they separated. Look, this, this cube needs to be with this cylinder. That's why that one didn't work. All right, my first graders, you can practice with your personal math trainer.